the USA. When Europe was threatened by Hitler's Germany, America chose a policy of neutrality. The country neither joined the countries which were at war with Nazism, nor did it give them any aid. The USA entered World War II after Japanese aircraft attacked the US military base of Pearl Harbor on the 7th of December, 1941. On the 11th of June, 1942, Soviet-American agreement on principles applicable to mutual assistance in the conduct of war against aggression was signed between the USA and USSR governments. The American government began supplying the Soviet Union with military equipment, food, ammunition, and medicines under the Lend-Lease Act, i.e. for money. As part of this program, the property transferred had to be paid for or returned to the USA after the war. World War II officially ended on the 2nd of September, 1945. Total casualties were estimated at between 50 million and 80 million people. The economics of all the countries involved in the war were destroyed, except for the United States. After all, for them, this war, like all wars that followed, was just business. Already in the 20th century, during the Cold War, America began to conduct propaganda that distorted history. For example, Americans are convinced that it was the United States that won World War II. And this despite the fact that the Allies' second front was not opened until 1944, when the Soviet victory was already evident. Long years later, Russia paid the USA for the Lend-Lease aid. In the last 30 years, the USA has invaded more than 20 countries. Civilians were killed there. Economies were being destroyed. The political system was changing, and America was getting rich. And now the USA has imposed the toughest sanctions on Russia, portraying it as an aggressor. It's not just companies that have been hit by sanctions, but individuals too. Cultural figures, politicians, artists, sportsmen. After all, even today in America, it's just business. The business built on the blood and suffering of people.